More breaking news this new time in the sentencing for a Warwick man charged with a murder plot. Nicholas Ravinsky will now face a total of 15 years behind bars for his role in the plot to behead a conservative commentator. Eyewitness reporter Steph Machado was in federal court for this decision. She joins us now live from Boston with the latest. Nicholas Ravinsky will spend the next 12 and a half years in prison. He was sentenced in this Boston courthouse this morning to 15 years with credit for time served since his arrest in June of 2015. The 27 year old man from Warwick was charged in his role to um, elect to behead a conservative blogger in his role in that plot on behalf of ISIS. Now today the prosecutor during this sentencing hearing said he could have been sentenced to a longer term, but she acknowledged that Ravinsky flipped for the government, fully cooperating and testifying against his co-conspirator David Wright, who was sentenced yesterday to 28 years in prison. The prosecution said Wright was the mastermind and Ravinsky was manipulated by him, although he certainly committed the crimes. He downloaded ISIS materials. He agreed to be part of the beheading plot of Pamela Geller, which was never carried out. He also later wrote letters in prison about recruiting more people to ISIS, later denouncing the ISIS ideology. Ravinsky's family wrote emotional letters to the court asking for leniency in this sentence in light of Ravinsky's history. He has cere cerebral palsy. He had a difficult and at times lonely life, according to his family, turning to Islam for comfort as a young adult, but then meeting David Wright online and becoming indoctr indoctrinated. And Ravinsky himself also spoke, spoke in court today. He says he renounced his ISIS. He apologized for his actions and he thanked the prosecution for giving him a second chance at life after he is released. He will be supervised by probation for the rest of his life, but he says he wants to have a job. He wants to do charity work, including for veterans because he says it would in part make up for his actions that went against American ideals. And we just spoke to his defense attorney, William Fick, moments ago outside this courthouse here. You'll hear more from him tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. Live in Boston, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.